A huge new feature for the Xbox Series X has just been unveiled by Microsoft and we definitely need to talk about this. And a plethora of new Nintendo Switch games have just been leaked by Amazon. I want to go over this list and talk about what potential games these are and why this could be a big deal. What's going on guys, I'm RGT85, if this is your first time on the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and also check out that pinned comment in the comment section down below because we're doing a little bit of a giveaway. But without any further ado, let's talk about what's going on in the world of video games. So while everyone is waiting for the PlayStation 5 unveiling that supposedly will be happening next week, the Xbox Series X has definitely been the more vocal of the two consoles. We've gotten a look at the console, a look at the controller, a look at games running on the console. I would say Microsoft has done a very good job of pacing themselves for this upcoming console generation giving you guys definitely some interesting information as they have gone along the tech specs of the system the system in action and although their last presentation was a bit ho-hum because a lot of these games were smaller third-party games that probably weren't fully utilizing what the Xbox Series X can bring to the table at least we saw games running on it at least we saw the potential for what this system could bring to the table but one of the features that was being touted for the Xbox Series X was of course back backwards compatibility and today we learned a lot about the backwards compatibility on the Xbox Series X and honestly this is very very impressive stuff now a lot of people don't necessarily care about backwards compatibility when they buy a new system they want to play new games on that system and I totally understand that but I am someone who believes in backwards compatibility I really enjoy it because it gives me an opportunity to play games that maybe I missed out on obviously the Xbox 360 was a huge system so many different games came to that system and nobody played all of those games one of the big titles on the Xbox 360 that I originally missed out on was Alan Wake and I've heard so many people prophesize about how this game is so good and right now on my Xbox one I am playing Alan Wake via the game pass service because they put it up there for free so why not check out this game and I'm definitely enjoying it but it looks like the Xbox Series X is really going to take backwards compatibility to a whole new level because in a press release that was sent out by Microsoft today they basically said that backwards compatible games for the Xbox Series X will run natively on the Xbox Series X hardware running with the full power of the CPU GPU and SSD no boost mode no down clocking the full power of the Xbox Series X for each and every backwards compatible game now, of course, not every game that has come out on the Xbox lineage of systems will be available to play on this. They will be adding in more and more games, but these games, of course, will be from the Xbox, the Xbox 360, and the Xbox One for the backwards compatibility mode. Now, we've seen some backwards compatibility on the Xbox One, of course, and the Xbox One X actually introduced a whole bunch of new features. When you look at a game like Ninja Gaiden that originally released on the Xbox, the Xbox One X version of that game really brought a bunch of new improvements to that game with things like 4k textures that was a big deal and it seems like that was simply just a stepping stone that Microsoft is going to be pursuing this even deeper with the Xbox one X because they also said that the compatibility team has invented brand new techniques that enable even more titles to run at higher resolutions and image quality while still respecting the artist intent and vision of the original creators we are also creating whole new classes of innovation including the ability to double the frame rate of a select set of titles from 30 frames to 60 frames or 60 frames to 120 frames. So not only are they taking these games and increasing things like the resolution and the image quality for these games, but they're actually increasing the frames per second for these games to make them potentially smoother experiences. And that to me is just absolutely crazy. It's going to breathe new life into these older games for the Xbox platforms. And I think that's just absolutely amazing. Like a game like Alan Wake, I would love to see that game with a little bit more visual fidelity. It looks great for the time frame, of course, but it does look a little rough around the edges when you compare it to modern games but it's really going to usher in this new era of wanting to check out these older games because of things like visual improvements to them so I think this is an absolutely huge deal I like I said I know a lot of people don't necessarily care about backwards compatibility because they buy these systems to play the new games but for me this is very very exciting I cannot wait to see how these games look and play on the Xbox Series X versus the original versions of these games we've already seen Microsoft do it with the Xbox 
One X a little bit, but it seems like they're taking it to a whole nother level with this system. So I, hats off to Microsoft for this. This is definitely very impressive stuff, and I think it's going to be very cool stuff. Now, I do want to see what games are going to be taking advantage of this. They have went from like 500 games that are compatible to thousands of games that are compatible. So it'll definitely be very interesting to see what these games end up looking like. But for me, I'm totally on board with this. I think this is a very exciting feature. And I do wonder if Sony will have any sort of response to this with their system, the PlayStation 5, because I think this is a big win for Microsoft right now. And finally, E3 season is nearly upon us, but E3 just kind of isn't a thing anymore. Obviously, due to real-world circumstances, E3 2020 was canceled. A lot of people seem to think that E3 might not even come back next year because of the digital distribution of information nowadays. People can get their information about their games out there in a much easier way, but it seems like game companies were still planning to have announcements during E3 2020 this year, and since the event was canceled, they still have to talk about these games. So listings for games are starting to go up on websites and one of those websites is Amazon of France. Now Reset Era basically compiled a list of a bunch of games that popped up on Amazon of France's website for the Nintendo Switch and there's some very interesting stuff in here. Now before we get into this list I do want to say take this with a grain of salt. Amazon France has been right on a lot of things. Amazon France has been wrong on a few things before. They are definitely a website we have covered on this channel before so I'm confident in talking about it but like I said do take it with a grain of salt but it does does kind of make sense because a lot of these titles we're talking about are third party titles from third party companies and of course Nintendo themselves it seems to be not doing a Nintendo Direct presentation in the month of June we talked about this a few days ago on the channel and Nintendo pretty much told their third party partners to go ahead and talk about your games on your own time go ahead and announce them and that that is the way to do things until there is a Nintendo Direct. So according to this list, three games from Bethesda were included on the Nintendo Switch. There is one Nintendo Switch only game, two multi-platform games, that one of them being for the PS4 and the Nintendo Switch, and one of them being for the Nintendo Switch, PS4, and Xbox One. And right out of the gate, I think this has a lot of merit because what that one game is probably going to be Doom Eternal, the Nintendo Switch exclusive. Obviously, Doom Eternal is already out on other platforms, so it would make sense for Bethesda to have a SKU dedicated to Doom Eternal for the Nintendo Switch since it is a separate thing. As far as the other two titles are concerned, maybe some sort of Fallout remaster. There's been lots of rumors about like a Fallout 3 remaster potentially coming out on systems, and I think that would kind of make sense. Obviously, that could be a multi-platform game. Next up, there are two games from Square Enix on this list. Both of these are Nintendo Switch exclusive. Obviously, the Square Enix and Nintendo have been working very well this console generation. You've gotten games like Dragon Quest XI that was included some additional Nintendo Switch features. You got Bravely Default 2. You had Octopath Traveler. So I definitely can foresee Square Enix working on some stuff for the Nintendo Switch exclusively. You have two games from Warner Brothers. You have one Nintendo Switch only game and one multi-platform game. I feel like maybe some sort of Batman is going on with that. Obviously, a new Batman game is coming out that could be potentially be a multi-platform game. And the Nintendo Switch exclusive title, it really needs to be a Batman Arkham collection. Like, I don't understand why that isn't on the Nintendo Switch. I would love to play Arkham City on my Nintendo Switch, so hopefully that is something that is in the works. Two games from Ubisoft both of being multi-platform games. Obviously, Ubisoft has been bringing stuff over to the Nintendo Switch, so it definitely makes sense. One game from Take-Two Interactive, a multi-platform game. I definitely can foresee this being some sort of remaster of an older Take-Two game. I don't really see Take-Two announcing anything brand new in 2020. It just doesn't sort of make sense with their timeline of events, but obviously they have a lot of stuff in their back catalog, maybe some sort of bully store to stuff going on right now, maybe even a Bully 2 it could potentially be but I definitely can foresee take two doing some interesting stuff one game from Capcom that is a Nintendo Switch only game who knows with Capcom it's probably another weird Street Fighter version you know maybe a Street Fighter 4 or something for the Nintendo Switch and there are also four Nintendo games listing with an unrelated picture and obviously those could be the potential Super Mario remake rumors that we have heard about I do think that some of these Super Mario remake games will end up getting a physical release as an individual 
individual thing. Obviously, something like 3D World is going to have its own sort of set individual game, but there are a lot of games here, and obviously, most of these games are from third-party companies and Western third-party companies, and that's something you're definitely starting to see more of. When you look at 2K and the Nintendo Switch right now, they're releasing three games in one day for the Nintendo Switch, all from libraries that have never been on a Nintendo platform before. And obviously, with the real-world situations going on right now, I feel like companies are going to be looking into their back catalog of games to potentially bring stuff to the Nintendo Switch and even the PS4 and the Xbox One to sort of, you know, put a band-aid on what's going on right now and keep revenue coming in from their back catalog of games. Now, although obviously we do have to take these rumors with a grain of salt, I think a lot of these things sort of make sense in a timeline of events. Obviously, companies are going to be talking about their games over the summer. So companies like Amazon, companies like GameStop will start putting up just random SKUs for these games that are going to be announced. But let me know in the comments section down below what games you think these could potentially be. Obviously, some very big third-party companies are involved with these things, and I think it makes sense in the timeline of events. All right, so that is going to do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to let me know in the comments section down below what you think of the Xbox Series X and this backwards compatibility. Do you think it's going to be a game changer? Because I think it's going to be a very exciting thing. I'm really looking forward to seeing games from the Xbox and the Xbox 360 running natively on the system and just how well these games have been enhanced. And what games do you think are these companies bringing to the Nintendo Switch when it comes to announcing these games? Obviously some heavy hitters in there, so I'm definitely curious to see what those games end up being and as always guys thank you for checking out this video if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications check out the pinned comment in the comment section down below we are less than 1,000 subscribers away from 300,000 so I'm doing a giveaway the first place winner will win a $100 either eShop PSN or Xbox gift card and then two other people will win $25 for their respective platform you just basically if you win I ask you what platform you want and you tell me and as always I'll catch you guys on the next video later